What is up everyone? It is Chewburger84 from the Altuna Reality and for Strike Force, I am back ladies and gentlemen. Now I know what you're thinking. You probably thought that I was like your dad that went out for a pack of cigarettes and never came back. It's okay, I'm here now. Daddy's here, it's fine, okay? Do you want a cookie? Do you want to, do you want to buy your cookie? Yeah, yeah? So look, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for the lengthy time away. So uh, myself, Mike, and Nick, we've been very, very busy behind the scenes getting things ready to launch the Altino Reality website, which is going to be somewhere at the end of April to mid-May. We'll keep you up to date as we get closer. Now, we've been recording some new podcasts. Uh, we've been having some fun uh, with the new Dungeons and Dragons format, which has been really exciting. Uh, we've also been doing some uh, interviews with some professionals, uh, including a video you may have seen here recently with some international researchers. So we've been having a lot of fun. It's been very busy behind the scenes, but I have felt like I let you down. So we're gonna release a lot of content over the next little while before I head out again. Now, today is gonna be a video that I did promise a couple of our listeners a little while ago. So. For some people, they're still on the Nick Fury meta, and obviously Nick Fury in the current arena meta is pretty hard going. Like, it's not easy to compete. Um, myself, I haven't really been throwing an updated Brotherhood team uh, until very, very recently. So what I was using for the longest time to stay within that sort of anywhere between the top 20 to top 100 uh, was a couple of different versions of a Fury hybrid team. So uh, based on those people that asked for that, this video is for you. So what we're gonna do is go up against this classic Brotherhood team here. We say classic, we've been around for about eight seconds. So we have Magneto, Pyro, Juggernaut, Sabretooth, and Mystique. Now the meta's kind of evolving a little bit. I mean, unfortunately for some people in the beta metas, uh, the beta shards, I should say, they're coming up against Ultrons already. And I think we're gonna start seeing that in some of the others very soon as well. But for now, let's do this video based on the uh, Brotherhood Classic team. So what we're gonna use is my Fury team as a core. But what we don't really need is crits, okay? So we're gonna take out Assault. You do not want shield critting against Brotherhood. It just feeds them more and more and more. Now, Operative can also disappear for this one. So what you really want is some sort of a uh, heal blocker, some sort of a, that's if they've got a Minerva, I should say. You want the heal blocker if they've got a Minerva, which this team hasn't. I like Venom because if you can get a shot off early, it means that it doesn't matter if you don't nuke someone like Pyro or Magneto on the first turn, because it means that it's gonna be able to do its damage over time and eventually you get to where you wanna go. Now for me, the other key here is Jessica Jones, all right? What it gives you the opportunity to do is make sure that Venom gets his turn off. So having a character that is slightly slower than Jessica Jones means that she's going to be able to clear debuffs and then he's gonna be able to have his turn. You gotta to love talking too much. All right, so let's do this thing. Let's have a shot. Okay. Oh man, you can, I get a love when these updates come through where you have to manually go through and do all the updated content. It's been a while since I've loaded BlueStacks, uh, which is where I do all my recording. Obviously it's an Android emulator. So let's get into this. Hopefully we don't get a freeze. The game has had quite a lot of that recently. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, so obviously we're gonna have Mags do his thing. He's gonna blind everyone. That means that Medic's not gonna be able to do her thing. Now, you can see that JJ resisted, that's expected. Now, ideally what we wanna do is try and stop Pyro from clearing the buffs on my guys. So if we get an assist from anyone, it's probably gonna just be a blind at the moment anyway. We'll get Fury's minions out because then it leaves the chance that Pyro may target them instead of security, which is obviously good for uh, keeping all of my buffs up. Now, this is obviously going to miss. So, so far, what we're doing is very, very ineffective. Now, he's hit JJ, so that's kind of great. Now, Pyro's done his thing. So, he's preloaded the team. We've had uh, also um, Sabretooth do his thing. So, that hurt quite a bit. Now, what we're going to do is shake all of that off. Okay, we're going to get rid of all of that. Now, what we're going to do straight away is we're going to put that epic bleed onto Pyro. Now, he's hidden behind the jugs. 
So obviously that's not great because we can't touch him, but he will bleed to death over the next couple of turns. If he doesn't bleed to death on the first turn, that's going to give us some opportunities. So let's get some heals up because obviously Jugs is going to be doing his thing very, very shortly by charging through. Now, we do have Fury having lost his buffs, but we definitely want the defense up regardless because Jugs is going to charge through very, very shortly. Okay? We don't want to waste our big hit. We might need that. Now, what we're really hoping for here is that JJ can rip the taunt off. If she does, that gives us a really good opportunity. And of course, it doesn't. All right? That's okay. So what we're going to do with Venom now is we're going to use him to hopefully convert that into a bleed instead. All right. So we've lost JJ. That's not the end of the world. In fact, it can be actually an all right thing. So there we go. There goes the Pyro. He falls down from those Venom Bleeds. Now, I know that some of you are not going to be able to do that same level of damage with uh, a Venom if you are going to use him, purely because of the fact that uh, mine six stars, uh, six red stars. Now, this is quite interesting, a mechanic. So we can see here that Mystique very clearly has an Evader. But if I use Venom's basic, it still converts some of her buffs into a Bleed, which is pretty cool. So let's finish off Mags here. Okay, get the big hit from security, which we held off on from before. Okay, now again, you've got Venom doing his thing. We don't need to hit Mags again. He's going to fall down with the bleeds. We're just going to chain now onto Sabretooth. Okay, actually, we'll slow down Jugs. The last thing you want is, uh, well, maybe we won't. Do you know what? Let's get this bleed up on Sabretooth. That way we'll get him some damage very shortly. Let's get our minions out just in case. All right, now let's get some heals out. You never know what can go wrong when it comes against Jugs. And there we go, we actually got that revive uh, on JJ from before. Okay, let's slow down that Jugs if we can. His resist is quite high. Let's get rid of that death proof. Now, this is gonna be fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of those bleeds that are stacked up on Sabretooth and we're gonna give them right across to Mystique. All right, the battle obviously normally doesn't take this long. It's only because Chewburger can't shut up when he's doing these videos. So let's just basically go through and polish everyone off now. All right, get the multi-hit from JJ. Keep punching her in the face. Shooting her in the face in the case of the shield guys. So look, as you can see, um, it all comes down to the first couple of turns. You can have it go a lot smoother than that. You can have a lot go a lot worse than that. But that's been a team that you're able to use. Um, that's going to be able to keep countering Brotherhood on offense. It's not going to hold on defense. You're going to get absolutely crushed by Brotherhood on defense. But JJ and one other. So, I mean, who you use on that other slot, <clears throat> you have quite a few choices. So, if you already have a defender squad, obviously having a Punisher in there can be quite beneficial because he's going to be able to do a lot of damage. He's going to be able to do some AoE. And you've still got JJ. She's the key because she's going to do two things. She's going to strip off all of the debuffs from your team. And then she's going to use her ultimate to strip at least half, hopefully the taunt, off of Juggernaut. And if you can do that, it means that you can just bypass that wall that that team provides so you can hit those plays in the background. Now, some people like to take down Pyro first. Some people like to take down Mags. I'm more of a Pyro guy myself. I know you will slow down Jugs a little bit more if you can hit Mags first. But unfortunately, there's a lot of little damage that uh, Pyro can do to you along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a nice short video. It was a request from one of our patrons. Uh, I did promise them that I would do it. I hope if you are trying to hang on for grim death like me with Nick Fury, um, that that helps you. If you have any questions or anything that you'd like me to do in the future, head on over to the Strike Force Masters of Launch Discord channel. Um, make sure you keep an eye out in April for the alternatereality.com website launch. Um, just keep coming back to this channel. Some likes and subscribes and hitting that notifications bell will make sure that you're going to see exactly what you want when you want it. Thank you very much for stopping by. I'm Shubaga84, and we'll catch you very soon. Cheers.